Hey, what's up everybody? It's CrossCurrent. Today I'm giving you a beginner's guide on how to play Bakasaurus. So, people wanted me to make a guide on this character because they want to know characters that are very easy to play in Smite. Bakasaurus being one of the easiest assassins within the game. I say this because I've played him up until Mastery 10 and then some, and gotten my most pentakills on this character. Now, I think this character is much more ideal for Arena than it is for a Conquest setting but can still be viable in Conquest if you switch things up. This is more of a build for Arena and all the other casual modes, just so you can get a feel for them and then make changes as you go. So to start off, Boxora, being an assassin, he has a very simple build that I would suggest for you because he has mainly a focus on attack speed and some crit as well. Now when it comes to Boxora's build, there are multiple ways to do it. I have also noticed that there's two items that now would be really good on Boxura that I currently don't use. So if you want to toss those in, I completely understand. But this is a build I've used for a very long time that has always seemed to work. I start off with Hasten Katana. This allows me to keep up with enemies just by hitting more basic attacks. Then I have Kin Size, which allows me to deal more damage to healthier targets while also giving me more power and attack speed. I get Blood Forge because it's just a lot of power out of nowhere, gives me a lot of life steal, so I don't have to worry about that at all. And if I kill an enemy god, I get a little bit of a buffer in case I were to get attacked and someone would try to kill me. After that, I get Wind Demon. This might be something you want to switch out. Wind Demon gives me attack speed, gives me critical chance and a little bit of power. And upon getting criticals, it can give me a lot of other small abilities. The penetration seems a little unhelpful as well as the movement speed, considering the two other items I have and just how Boxer works as a whole. After that, I like to get Rage, which will turn into Evolved Rage once you get five kills or assists, which if you're playing Boxer correctly and sticking with the tank, this should not be very hard at all, especially in an arena sense. It can give you 35 physical power as well as 45% critical chance strike, which is huge. After that, I go for Deathbringer, and when I finish Deathbringer, I like to get the added on bonus from the Envenomed Deathbringer. The reason is, this will reduce the damage that they can deal, and it'll slow them down, which, since you have a cone attack, that's a lot more helpful than having quicker cooldowns, since Bakasur will not be relying on cooldowns as much as just hitting enemy gods and inflicting heavy critical damage. Now, here are three items that you could use in the build, but I don't use because typically they get a lot of switches or they're only used for certain modes. Serrated Edge is an item that's been updated a lot and nerfed and buffed and whatnot, so I don't know if it's actually going to stick the way it is. Now, since Boxer doesn't use any cooldown reduction, this might be good. Just kind of, that could possibly go in any spot within the build, just to make it better or more to your liking. But right now, currently, Atlanta's bow is really good in the game right now. I would suggest if you can put on him, definitely go for it. Give it a shot, but don't be latched onto it. Keep an opening for the future that you might not be able to use this item the way it's being used right now, because there's never been this ridiculous. Now when it comes to the relics that the character can use, I would suggest using purification beads as well as ages. Because these two are very safe, you can get into the game learning what this character will do, and in case you're about to get killed, you can use the ages. If someone's using a CC, like let's say Isis or Ymir, to try to control you, to try to make you stop moving, etc. You just use that, you can use it right before your ultimate, just so you can make sure that everything goes the way you want to it's very helpful people have also used sprint i don't think that's as useful unless you have the build that's a little bit weird for that i would say though just rely on the items like i brought up earlier to keep up with enemies and if need be work around a minion wave to escape now talking about boxer's abilities his first one is a passive ability that gives him seven percent attack speed per stack five percent movement speed per stack for a duration of 10 seconds and a maximum of 3 stacks for whenever he gets a kill on an enemy, meaning a god or a minion or anything else within the game. Now his second ability is takedown. This is a leap ability, so it can deal damage, but I would suggest using it to escape. Now it's very tempting to use this ability to attack because when you land it does do 10% more damage to enemies around you for the next 3 seconds and the damage is pretty decent as well. The duration for that buff is three seconds, but I would still suggest just escaping and using a blink if you're trying to be aggressively leaping into fights. And also relying on a tank, especially one like Ares that pulls everyone together, will work wonders if you play this character. Now it comes to the eating minion ability. It heals you, it restores your mana and protections. The protections last for about 10 seconds, 
and as you level it up, the cooldown will decrease. I typically do not level up this very much at all. Rare, they'll actually need it fully leveled up. The next ability is the Butcher Blades, the third ability. This is the bread and butter of Bakasura. Upon leveling it up, you get a small amount of physical power, and when you use it, you get to do true damage, meaning that it goes through all sort of defenses. The duration for that is six seconds. Regurgitate is his ultimate ability, so the reason why you want to keep eating minions is because in this ultimate, you can spit out up to six minions that you had eaten. Also, you do a cone attack, so having all those basic attack abilities on your items will trigger, and it'll trigger in a big group. So this is why people like Golden Blow, because it can bounce like crazy. Also, if you're in a pinch, you can eat one of the minions that you bring out just to heal yourself, but I would say definitely be careful with using this ultimate. Don't rush it. Wait until you, least, you at least have something like Hasten Katana so you can keep up with enemies and keep the kills going. Because once this starts, everyone will be either really low or a couple will be dead. And then you just keep on chaining onto other people and getting more kills. Hopefully this guide helped you out. If it does help you out, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Share with your friends if you think they could use it. And comment below if there's anything you feel about the video. If you say something really messed up, mean, rude, I will just remove the comment. So please don't be like that. We're all here trying to learn, trying to help you guys. And comment with any suggestions you have for the next video. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, they know. Oh my god. Oh, Quadra! No! Oh. <laughs> I didn't deserve this sort of treatment. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got it anyways.